Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching. Welcome to this season's final episode. It's been a long road, but we're finally there, the Global Grand Finals. But first, let's sum up a few player movements and team changes. I'm Luke Dorjanella, and this is the International Esports Show. A quick update on some of the teams. Team Dignitas have dropped their sponsor and have returned to their original name, Synergy. Denova have now fully renamed to GGWP Pro, and Zenith has left Evil Pandas for Lemming Train. I'm sure there's going to be more movements inside the squads, but that's it for now. Don't forget to keep an eye on the forums as upcoming teams like Wasp Gaming are currently recruiting. A link to their recruitment thread will be in the details below. Have you ever wondered what team is the best in the world? Yet yeah, occasionally we've seen some of the top teams battle. Synergy bested Navi at Eurosteel, but Navi conquered all of Europe in the Battle of Continental Leagues. And they also came out on top, just above Lemmingtrim and Fnatic in the GeForce International. So the 4th of April until the 6th in Warsaw, Poland, the Wargaming.net League will bring together the best teams from every region to battle to the death. Okay, not quite death, but close to it as they play for the title of the Undisputed World Champions of Tanks. Oh, and $300,000. Representing Europe, Virtus Pro and Synergy. Holding the flag for North America, Fnatic and Sin. PvP Super Friends and UAD come from Asia. For Korea, Arete and NOA. From the People's Republic of China, Energy Pacemaker and JL Esports Club. Let's not forget the Rude Clusters, Navi and Red Rush Unity. These teams are joined by two wildcards. Teams that have proven themselves in one way or another over the last few seasons and are added to the pool to spice things up. To represent Poland, Lemming Train, and silver medalist from the World Cyber Games, Wusa. I can't wait to see who truly is the best of the best. If you can't make it in person, be sure to tune into the live stream. Links to the stream and all the details are up now on thegrandfinals.com. That's all for the show today and this season. I'll be at the Grand Finals in person, so be sure to come and say hello. I know I said that every other episode would be a pro talk, but since this is the last episode and we only got one in before the end of the season, I'm going to make it a double. So it's time to meet Arklet from used to be Dignitas, Synergy. My name is Alex, my nickname is Arklet. I'm from Team Dignitas. Team Dignitas was, uh, at first it was uh, Synergy and uh, it has a really long history. So Stalker started off when World of Tanks Cyber Sports was just born and uh, he started playing, he started his own team and uh, I started in uh, Red Rush Unity. In time, uh, it just, uh, we just split from Red Rush Unity. Now uh, players like Levsha play in Unity in... Uh, no, I think it will be too long. I'm definitely a tea person, I don't drink coffee because I, I don't know, I just don't like the taste. The tea is more relaxing. I got into World of Tanks uh, when my friend from the university showed it to me. It was like, uh, you know, there's a new game. It's, it's quite good, let's try it. It's in beta yet, but uh, it's very interesting. So that's how I got in. I just tried it and I like it and I stayed. My favorite color is yellow because uh, I was born in the summer. I guess I like the sun. My favorite tanks museum is uh, Kubinka. I think everybody heard about it. It, uh, it has uh, an insane amount of different tanks from different nations, uh, different years of production. So uh, I've seen mouse there. It's, it's all well. You have to see it alive. I haven't been in a Kubinka toilet actually. Maybe I was lucky. <laughs> Pro gaming in World of Tanks, it's an entirely different experience. Uh, you have to think more, uh, you have to do more, you have to show your skill in everything. So uh, it's more competitive. So I like challenge and uh, that's how I get it. Why am I pro player? The short answer, just for rules. Hobbies? Are you kidding me? Pro players don't have hobbies. If someone tells you that he has a hobby, he's lying. My favorite non-team non -team battle tank would be definitely uh, Jagdpanzer E100, because uh, it's, it's really an interesting machine. You have to understand it, you have to feel it. It has a soul, a character. It's not like uh, 
very strong, powerful tank that you just go and destroy everyone. You have to feel it, you have to know it, and uh, then you will get the result. So I like uh, difficult machines, and that's one of them. Mornings. I don't like mornings, especially when they start early. Well, uh, my dream car is a 69 Charger, Dodge Charger. Yeah, I really like American muscle cars, like from 60s, 70s. Uh, I'm all over them. The prizes, because <laughs> usually in offline tournaments uh, they're higher. Uh, I'm a Pepsi person, but uh, when there is no Pepsi, I drink out, no problem. Uh, I don't know why, maybe I like the taste better, but uh, I can't really tell, tell the difference why I like it. The difference between uh, online and offline tournaments, if you don't like someone, you, you can punch them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank uh, our fans, all the people who follow us. Also, I would like to thank Wargaming for bringing us together. I would like to thank uh, all the pro gamers, teams who participate. It's a great fun hanging with you. And uh, also I would like to thank our sponsors, especially Logitech. See you guys. <laughs>